of a new school year, of course. Districts across the region are now working with each other on reopening plans after the state announced that they would not be offering formal guidance. This came after as a shock to many superintendents, as Eriketa Koss learned today. She joins us now live from East High with more on all this, Eriketa. Well, good evening, Adam. A few hours ago, the Rochester City School District released their plans for reopening, closely following the CDC guidance, uh, recommend uh, mask wearing, screening, and temperature checks. But many other districts across the region are still figuring out how to go about all this. Andy Dole is the superintendent for Bloomfield Central Schools. He says a year ago, superintendents were scrambling to submit a plan to the state for approval. This year is nothing like that. Instead, districts have the liberty to come up with their own plans. I think it was a bit of a, a shock. The news came yesterday with the start of a new school year not too far away. Dole says he and other county superintendents are teaming together with local health officials to figure it out. We also, I think, all agree that having students back in person um, is what's best. So I think we're 100 percent committed to uh, making that happen. They want to come up with one plan for all county superintendents to follow instead of a mix match. He says most would agree masking is part of that plan, but there are some differing opinions on the specifics. I think there are minor uh, you know, uh, points, um, I guess, questions about uh, when masking would, would be appropriate and when it wouldn't be appropriate. What does it look like on the bus? Over in Wayne County, Health Director Diane Devlin says they're taking a similar route, one plan for all districts to follow countywide. So that one district isn't doing one thing and the neighboring district is doing another because it caused causes contention amongst parents and teachers. She says COVID cases are also rising among younger ages lately, and one in five cases for Wayne County are children. It's definitely a concern, and the biggest message they have for parents and families is to get vaccinated. Even if you don't think that you need it, you can be doing a service to your community. And Delvin says one of the key recommendations from the CDC is to mask up she says desks will also likely be three feet apart, not six, to accommodate a full reopening. In Rochester, Erica Cost, News 8. Thank you, Erica. The vaccine is currently available for those 12 years old and older. There's a clinic, by the way, this Sunday for kids over at the Edgerton R Center from 1 to 345 in the afternoon.